I still become interested in the idea of time and you know how we, how that can be applied to a narrative. So I was using lots of different techniques like time lapse shooting stuff at 60 frames a second, playing it back at 24, and then basically there was no there was no uh, prescriptive narrative at all. Basically, it was just the narrative happened in the edit room. Right. Um, but basically now the idea is to shoehorn the techniques into into the narrative. Okay, so you're working on something. Yeah, new. yeah. I'm, I'm I'm working with Patrick Coyle, kind of uh, we're talking about sort of writing a feature. But I'm, I'm, I'm really into a filmic look, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So, it, yeah, so, so that's it really, it was, it was an experiment. So what were you shooting on and kind of like, you know, I know you're doing lots of time, lots of stuff there. Uh, yeah, 550 D. Um, for, obviously, for time lapse is basically you shoot, I think I was shooting at an interval, I shot about one frame every five seconds to, to do like a 10 second piece. And then when I did the wheel, like something happened, there was like a VIP sort of, the, the VIP carriage thing was going backwards. I thought, I don't know, that's kind of you know, the idea. People are on the wheel, and then also I've got some tilt shift stuff in there, kind of like. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. So it was a real, kind of a real experiment. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And obviously Liverpool and Berlin, and why, why those two places? It was just where you're going on your holidays. Well, yeah, <laughs> well, one's where I live, and the other one is in Berlin. So, <laughs> where I also went on holiday. And the time that I wasn't listening to techno in a club, I was filming. Brilliant. And obviously you're shooting it a completely different way because you're going out and shooting on your own. Do you find that you've got a, a bit of freedom doing that? And did you enjoy doing that? Yeah, I think the thing that was kind of um, one of the time lapses in Berlin, I was trying to kind of have the camera hidden, you know, to, to create that kind of naturalistic you know, response. Because obviously you couldn't believe how difficult it is. I was trying to kind of uh, get in the shot where uh, sort of Debbie is walking towards the camera in slow motion, the amount of people. I wanted to do it in a really packed situation. It's basically standing, you know, it was a really hot day as well. People the amount of people that just move out of the way, well, it's obviously not what you want. So it was kind of basically trying to, trying to hide the camera, you know. No. So in a, in a, and, and, and obviously you always get that kind of, that, nat that natural feel and it, it doesn't feel stays at all. So yeah, that, that, was, that was what I was after and I think it, I think it works, you know, for the most part. Really. Has anyone got any questions for the, the, the director? Yeah. I just think some of the uh, kind of abstraction that you find you use in music videos will find its way into your fictional work, um, shorts or features or documentaries. Uh, so kind of just a general question. Um, yeah, so that, that's totally the point. That's totally the point of that piece, really. As I've said, it, it, was, it was about kind of playing with time and the idea of like putting a magnifying glass on time. And, and then when you apply that to a narrative, it, it's what it does to gesture. Say, for instance, gesture, you know, I think one of the other directors was talking about how long the shot is held, creates, creates a certain tension. Well, obviously something else happens if you, if you start to sort of play with the speed of things as well. For the, the first film, um, you said you shot it on a 550. Well, um, what lens did you use? It just, it looks really beautiful. That was just the bottom, that was the long standard uh, 1855. It is beautiful, it's really nice. Oh, and that, some of it was also the, the nifty 50, the, um, oh, yeah. You know, the little 50mm uh, prime lens here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Looks like it was filmed on a much more expensive lens. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't.